Hello everybody, today I'm going to be creating a mixed media tag. I was inspired by a tag that I saw on Instagram and I will leave a link down below to that tag that I saw. And mine is quite a bit different, but I just recently got this die from Tim Holtz and I got it mainly because I wanted to make a uh, acrylic tag album. But when I saw the tag on Instagram, I knew that I had to just make one tag. So I cut it out with the acrylic sheets and I will have a list of all of the supplies um, down below and also over on my website where you can see more photos of the uh, project as well. So what I'm doing here is I took, there's uh, film on both sides of the acrylic sheet and I took the top layer off. I left the bottom layer on just so that it protected the back of the tag. And I first added a little bit of clear gesso and then I'm adding just a little bit of white gesso. And now what I'm doing here is I just take my finger and I'm trying to blend it out just a little bit. I didn't want, um, you know, all those harsh lines. I wanted it to kind of blend out and um, flow really nicely. So I recently got this uh, stencil from Crafters Workshop and I absolutely love the design and I'm using some uh, light paste and the spatula I'm using is from Finnebear. It is a silicone uh, brush and I love it. It works really well when you're wanting to do paste with a stencil or anything like that. So after the uh, paste dries, I am taking some impasto paint from Prima. This color is aubergine. It's a really beautiful purple, and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But what I did was I just put a little bit in this tray, and I'm dabbing just a little bit on here and there, and um, that way I can kind of water it down, as you could see I'm doing here. And then I... Uh, tilt it back and forth to uh, let it flow where it wants to and it's really neat when you do this because it kind of flows around um, all of that texture that you added with the light paste and the stencil so it's really neat so I just continue to do this and then I add a little bit more here and there uh, where I feel like I wanted a little bit more intense color and this color is uh, Heather and it's another beautiful purple color. Purple is actually my favorite color. I don't use it often enough in my crafting, um, but it is my favorite color. So anyways, I use a paper towel. You would probably get a better effect if you used a wet paper towel or a baby wipe. So I just took a little bit and I'm trying to blend out those colors so that it's not, um, so that it kind of has a gradual effect and so it's blended out instead of uh, having harsh lines. So here I got a little bit brave <laughs> and you could see I'm kind of um, not sure if I wanted to add the black at first. That's why I'm doing the splatters. And then I added a little bit of water to kind of let it flow and um, uh, just let it go where it wants to. And then I decided that I liked that, but just not so dark. So I'm just dabbing some of it off and I'm trying to clean up a little bit of the acrylic sheet there, as you could see. And it's really easy to clean off. Uh, you just gotta make sure that it's not, um, obviously like alcohol ink will stain it. You won't be able to clean that off, but uh, the acrylic paint, uh, as long as it isn't dry, like completely like overnight or anything, then then you should be able to clean it up fairly well. So I added a little bit of this acrylic paint in metallic dark velvet and it's really pretty and I just want a little bit of shine. I was going to add some uh, some sparks paint that I have that is purple but I decided that I didn't want that much um, sparkle or shimmer on the tag because I am going to be adding some glitter later on. All right, now I am taking some metal pieces and some clay pieces and a resin piece and I'm just adding a coat of gesso and then I add this little heart resin from Prima 
and that is mainly to keep the 25 uh, wood veneer piece that I'm using here um, raised up enough so that it um, would stand out on the tag and I didn't want to use uh, like foam pieces or anything like that just because it it's, would be really difficult to hide it behind that um, number. So I am doing this more of like a winter Christmassy type tag, although purple really isn't, you know, a color you often see for Christmas or holiday um, projects or anything, but I just thought it was super gorgeous. And the tag that I saw she did one in purple and then one in blue and I just loved them. So I am taking some uh, paint again and this is aubergine again and it's watered down quite a bit and I probably even have some gesso on there so it's a little bit lighter than um, it was before but I'm just taking it and I'm kind of going back and forth between the water and the paint just so that I can kind of have more control of how much I am getting on the tag because I don't want everything to be purple. So it saves me in, in the end when I'm going over everything with gesso so that I don't have to go over it as much. So as you could see, it just goes really nicely in all of those, uh, all of the texture and all of that, all of the details and in the uh, resin piece and the uh, clay piece that I added and also the metal piece as well so I layered them on top of each other and it looks really nice I think so I am now going to be adding more black and I didn't show this before but I did kind of uh, dry brush on some white gesso over that um, light paste and the stencil texture that I added. Uh, I do it again in the end, at the end of the video, um, just to finish off the tag. So I just, I cut that part out of the video. But um, anyway, so I, again, am taking some water and this uh, paint is pitch black in the apost impasto paint. And uh, I water it down, like I said, and I'm just kind of adding more, uh, depth to the project and depth to all of those uh, wonderful details on the tag and all of the uh, resin pieces and things like that. So I do this all the time. I love adding depth to my projects. It just is one of my favorite things to do, I think, out of when making a project. All right, so I did this on accident, actually, <laughs> but I decided that I really liked it. So I um, took a paper towel and I'm just dabbing on some of the, pa uh, the paint onto the edge of the tag and I just think it kind of gives a really cool effect to it and kind of like a frosty type look, although it's not white, I still think it looks really neat. And I added some uh, art pebbles and then now I'm painting them with the uh, acrylic paint, the metallic dark velvet paint. And then I still am trying to figure out the best way to add the art stones. So I figured this is probably my last attempt at trying to figure out the best way, but I am using some Fabri-Tac and I just added it where I felt I wanted some of the art stones to be. And I think I really like this actually because it's already a little bit tacky. So the art stones really stick to it. And then, um, I don't know, I felt like it held up really well. So we'll see how um, it ends up being after, you know, a few days of the tag being done. If they end up falling off or anything. So they seem pretty, pretty stuck on there. So, uh, yeah, so I think I might um, actually go with that um, method in the, in the future. I didn't let them dry, so that's why you're seeing them kind of fly all over the place uh, before I am adding a little bit of color to them. And again, that is the impasto paint in the aubergine color. 
and then here after the color dries you want to make sure that the color is dry and I'm just adding uh, some highlights to all of the texture that I added and um, it's really important to not get too much gesso on your your paintbrush and to make sure the paintbrush is dry you don't want to stick it in water and then um, get the gesso on there because it's not going to give you the effect um, that you probably want and that's like this dry brush look so I really like doing this uh, to add highlights and it gives a lot of dimension and um, again it just highlights all of those details so what I'm doing here is I took a acrylic block and I added a little bit of gesso and watered it down a little bit and I am just flicking on some of some of it so that it creates lots of splatters and I this is probably my favorite technique to do when I'm adding splatters um, but I feel like it's the messiest <laughs> so I just I sometimes forget to clean the acrylic block and then it's you know it's my acrylic blocks all messy and stuff so I don't like to do it too often but I knew that I really wanted some good splatters on my tag so I decided that I would do it and you could see up on the right hand side I didn't clean my acrylic block so I'm gonna have to scrub it anyways I am now adding some glass glitter and I get uh, the glass glitter from Renee's boutique on Etsy be sure to check her out I love the glass glitter it's so pretty and this one's just clear so it just gives a nice nice little detail without it being too sparkly so I added some 3d matte gel and then I'm just sprinkling on the glitter where um, the 3d matte gel is and the 3d matte gel dries clear so you won't be able to see um, see it once it's dry and I did add a little bit of gold glitter which in the end I didn't really like so I brushed it brushed it with some gesso in the end you could see here I kind of toned it down quite a bit and I just added some flowers and then now I'm just adding some more uh, splatters white splatters and that is going to complete the tag I hope you guys enjoyed it is super splattery if that's even a word I don't know there's so much splatters but I love it it's super pretty and I love it so much I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video on social media it really helps me out and I really do appreciate it here's a couple more videos you might enjoy and I will catch you guys later bye